Good day. In this tutorial, we will show you how to edit pictures in Microsoft Office. So we've chosen Lacastello 13. This is your folder with all your properties in. We'll just double click on Lacastello. You'll see there's a, a, always a folder that says pictures and videos. Double click on the on here, you will see there's a folder that says new HD pics not edited. So what we'll do first is we'll open another folder and we'll call it HD pics edited. We'll open another folder and call it large pics edited we'll open another folder and call it medium pics edited okay the reason why we do this is that the websites cannot accept large or HD pictures so we use medium pictures on the websites we use large pictures on private property and property 24 and some of the other portals so what we'll do first is we'll take the new pics not edited we highlight them all and we never delete anything we copy these pics into the HD pics edited. From here, we will now start editing the pics. I have chosen only three. Uh, I'll do the rest of them later on just to show you. So what we do is we open the pic. Come on, pick, open for us. There you go. Okay, here you see a picture taken, and this is a HD pick. All right, first thing we do, we'll check to see what do we need to take away and what can we leave. So, of course, on the side of this picture, you don't really want this very big piece of white block on the side here. First thing, you edit and create. Then you go to edit. Now, you'll see this bloom block here. This is crop and rotate. Now, I'm going to just show you what you can do with crop and rotate. With crop and rotate, you can either move the whole picture around or you can just crop it to a smaller picture and take away on the sides that you don't need on the sides. So we don't want this big white block on the side here because it's part of the wall. <coughs> Excuse me. So what we'll do is we'll crop it. We'll crop that horrible white piece away like that. Right. So while we're on this page, there's also a rotate button or a flip button. But sometimes these pictures are taken in portrait um, and we do not need portrait photos on our website. We always need landscape photos on our website. So if you do have a portrait photo and you need to make it landscape, all you do is you go and click on aspect ratio. And at the bottom here it will say make portrait or make landscape. If it is a portrait photo, it will say here, make landscape. Then you click on here. So if we click on make portrait, we not that we want it. I just want to show you how, what happens. You say make portrait, it will automatically change it into a portrait photo. So all the portrait photos will be made landscape. 
it will take away some of your 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 the outside of your pick uh, but sometimes it really really works very nice I'm just gonna cancel this okay and we will go back to aspect ratio and make it a landscape photo so your next step will be got to go to adjustments now in adjustments you can either add more light add more color or less and of course your clarity you will see now how the clarity button actually brings everything out if the picture is too light you can always go a little bit darker at the top here if, and then you can change the color. Let's see what happens with this one. If we just lighten it up a little bit, can you see what happens? Now this is what people want to see. They want to see uh, the lightened photo because that attracts the eye. Um, you can add a little bit of color if you want to. And then check what happens when we do the clarity. Look at something specific like the doorknobs or the, the stove. And we will pull it and you will automatically see how it clarifies this whole picture. At this stage, if you're happy with what you see, you can save this picture. It will save it as normal on the number that I've given it. And now my computer doesn't want to save it. Keep trying. Don't save it. Sometimes it helps if you maybe take away a little bit of the of the light it sometimes helps let's see if this works no nope, it doesn't want to save it doesn't want to save it this happens a lot of times when your internet connection um, is not 100% so let's just do a few things and see if it actually will save it for us. No, it won't save it for us. Um, what you can do then, if it doesn't want to save, the, you can save it as a copy. You name it. Okay, this is make sure you save it into the right folder because once you're going to save it it doesn't take you back exactly to that specific folder so let's go to dropbox and find that same properties folder and you go back to la costello and we double click and we go with pictures and videos and we are busy with hd pics edited double click on there so let's rename this well, first of all you're going to rename all your photographs and um, they will automatically you number them from one to how many pictures you've got now this is like a stello okay, I haven't got all the details with me at the moment so I'm just going to leave it like that at the moment so let's save it as like a stello Let's see if it will save it for us now. Still doesn't want to do it. Okay. Let's cancel all the changes we've made. Go edit. Let's crop away this picture. I've noticed that sometimes when the pictures are light as already, it doesn't like to be fiddled with. So let's just do a little bit of clarity there and see if it will play together with us now. Okay, you see, there it's done. Now you will, if you put the two pictures next to each other, you will see immediately that there is a difference. Now this picture was very light, so um, don't, uh, if, if it's too light, it, it will not save it. Um, so you just go back to clarity, because this is, this is nice enough for people to look at. Right. The other picture I've chosen to do, so, so you can see in the back here where it's darker. Um, let's see what happens with this one. Go to Edit and Create. Uh, you've got to use your imagination because 
as it is, you probably want to see this cupboard on the on the left hand side. All right. So we're not going to we're not going to, to edit anything away from this picture. Um, I need to also show you if this picture should be skew. Um, the photographer um, didn't that take it nice. You can always go to the straightening button and move this picture like this. Um, you don't want to send this onto your websites like this or move it that way. But you can straighten your picture. Okay. Um, so if it is taken skew. So there we go. We go to adjustments. All right. This one we will probably have to add a little bit of light especially for the for that side of the picture so let's add a little bit of light can you see how it changes a little bit of light a little bit of color bring the color back then you've got your clarity look how the door changes can you see the door there the door it brings out the specific things um, when you do the clarity we never use the vignette one now let's see if this is going to save us let's have a look if this is going to save for us no my internet's not strong enough just remember we're working um, in the cloud here all the time there you go can you see the difference between the pictures right that's very basic um, very nice job to do. Now to change these pictures. Okay, I've done number one and number two. All right, with the ones that I've taken out to show you. Now in order to 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 to, to change the size of the the HD pics, because like I said, we can only use medium pics on websites and large pics on on private property for. Uh, um, and uh, private property and property 24 and some other portals so now we're going to change these two pics I'm going to select these two pics that I've edited no sorry guys first thing you do is you rename your your picture You can either do that or you can go and rename here. Um, how we do this is we'll write in the La Costello and then we'll and, and the numbers. Let's say it's number two. Um, underscore. You put the street address in. Which have number seven underscore, and then the, of course uh, where it is. Um, let's see. If, say this is it at the spot. I'll go back and change this. Right the spot underscore. And you always have to put in the feel at. Um, properties because that is how people pick this up so now you've got your first one named all you do now is you copy this name I did that one to that one you go you click you click again and as soon as it comes up like that you can just right click and paste and it will just paste that but it will give it number two use in brackets automatically so once you've named your first picture everything's edited and your first picture is, edit, is um, named all you do is copy and paste copy and paste to go and um, put because it will add the numbers next to the next to the properties yeah you'll just say yes and um, so you've got now your La Castello pick number one and La Castello pick number two. You'll see there's a there's a two. Okay, so we're going to use this now and try and resize them. Right, so we're going to select those two. You're going to right click 
and you're going to go send to. You can send this to your own mailbox. This is the easiest and fastest way to do it, guys. Send it, and you go to mailbox. Okay, here you'll see a box popping up which says, says medium size pics. All right, you attach them. It will automatically send it to your Outlook. Like that. Right. So now you can either send it to yourself um, or whoever does your marketing. So let's send this to Vilma at feelathome.co.za. Right. Okay, these are now medium picks. So you send it. Let me just open my Outlook. When you go to send items, there you'll see it's now arrived. It's arrived in my emails, in my send box. So all I do now is I open this. I click on one of the pictures, save all attachments because it's already medium now. You go OK. You go back to the folder. La Castello. Pictures and folders and videos. And you go save them in your medium. In your medium folder. So we're going to do the same with others. We're going to go back there. I would normally select all the pictures, but I've just worked on these two. I'll select my pictures. I'll go right click, send to mail recipient, and up here, I'm going to go to the drop down box. And there it gives you large, right? So it automatically changes it into a large, larger picture. So attach, it will send it to your email. We're going to go to Vilma, fill it on. And this is now large pics. You have to send it to somebody to do your marketing. Always remember to add in the box here, leave the name of the, the, the property. You can take out feel it own properties and then you'll put your large fix for property private property and property 24. And then if you do send it to Valentine to publish, you always have to pick the best photo of your property and just put there use pick number because I've already got pick the pick numbers now. Use pick two as main pick. Please remember, if it is unfurnished properties, your best outside picture will, will always work the best. Your outside picture, the best one you've got of the outside of the yard and the house. Um, when it's fully finished, try and pick the best bedroom photo, like the main bedroom um, you will do for fully furnished property. So then I'm going to send this to my email. You can send it to anybody's email. Send items. There you will see it came up as the large photos. Large photos. Pick one. You save all attachments. Make sure you're in the right folder. This you can see is La Castello pictures and videos. You go to your large folder and you save them in there. And that's it, guys. This is how you edit pictures and uh, get them to different sizes. And um, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Until next time, thanks, Vilma.